Hey, thanks for coming back and checking out the next video, right? I wanted to point out something with this one, right? With this stroker. So that's what we're, we're talking about building a stroker. Um, some, some key clearance things you need to check out, right? In the first video, go check that one out. We talked about crankshafts and why we picked this specific length of 1.77. Um, that's what gives you the 8.94 cubic inch or 146 cc. Right, and there's just a couple of things that you have to clearance, okay? Because as this crankshaft comes around, right, the connecting rod right here is going to hit. It's going to hit right here, right there, and right there, all right? If this was any longer of a stroke, 1.8, 1.92, like the old Horseman ones, then we would also have to clearance right here. Okay, so in order to keep from clearancing the bottom of the cylinder, you know, 1.77 gets you the exact right length to where your piston, right, your piston won't bottom out on that little shelf, right, and it won't come up high enough that you're, you know, free porting or open porting um, your exhaust, okay, so... 1.77 was like the perfect length, okay? But you have the clearance right there and right there. So I um, wanted to show you the easiest way to do it, right? Is just with a, a round file. Um, you can use a Dremel, right? Obviously a Dremel is gonna cost you 100, 120 bucks. Then you gotta get a couple of the burrs and stuff. So, you know, once it's all said and done, you're gonna want the little extension tool just because it's a little bit skinnier and now you're two hundred dollars in to a tool to make a tiny little relief here you know or you use a round file and i just did this one right i did it outside because you're gonna make some shavings right i'm in the basement now but all you do right is file just like that this little relief right there and right there on the other side, right? And that's all you got to do to your cylinder. And then your transfer port cover, right? You see, this is a factory one, right? And then one that, that I'd machined, right? And rather than you know, using the Dremel, I wanted to show you the, the round file method, right? You just take a file. And this is, you know, pretty, pretty dang pretty. You know, it's straight. It's easy. It took about 30 seconds for each one of those. You know, 30 seconds for this one. And what's going to happen when you put it all together... Right, you've, you've made a, a nice little recess right here. So as that crankshaft and connecting rod comes around, it's gonna clear right there. And then again, any any longer, like if you have a vintage horseman uh, crank, you'll have to relieve this area right here. You'll probably have to trim up uh, the bottom edge, the skirt of your piston, at least on at least on this side. So it's not hitting that, that shelf right there, okay? So just wanted to show you that we didn't really talk about it in the in the last video you know i talked about the crankshafts and putting everything together but i didn't really talk about clearancing that area so just wanted to point that out um, that'll be it for this video and then uh, the next video episode four i'll get back to uh, assembling the engine and that's where we're going to put the uh, flywheel on and the uh, the coil okay all right, check out the next video.